Now we are used to seeing the cryptocurrency space be hype. A little bit of clickbait gets used from time to time and the XRP community is no exception. But this is taking the hype and the clickbait to a whole nother level. And this is a direct quote from JP Morgan. They are reporting that they just unveiled the holy grail for JPM coin. We're going to get into it in today's update. I appreciate everyone for stopping by. Let's run it up real quick. Now, before we get into unveiling the holy grail, I wanted to share a few updates with you. We have Reggie Middleton that's going to be joining us tomorrow on a Twitter space at noon Pacific Standard Time. That's going to be three o'clock Eastern. And then we're also getting Andy Sheckman back on next week. Really looking forward to that. He is the owner of Miles Franklin, Precious Metals Dealer, one of our affiliates linked up down below. If you're looking to get metals shipped directly to you, we can definitely get that done along with rolling over your 401k retirement account. We're going to have Andy back on this week for a full update. And then we are also dropping additional tactical wealth lessons in the private group along with our Discord weekly call that we had this morning. So if you missed that, that's all recorded, but you can get tapped in. That's through my website, zarkrector.com. Sign up through Patreon to get access to Discord. And I'm really looking forward to the interviews that we got coming up. Reggie tomorrow, Andy Sheckman on Tuesday. It's going to be a fun week with much more on the way. So make sure if you're not already that you subscribed, hit that notification bell, and it really helps us when you smash it. Let's get right on into the market update, though. Right now, we're watching as Bitcoin has rolled over here on the four hour chart. We see that Bitcoin is back below 37,000. Ethereum cooling off here as well, too. Remember, though, that Bitcoin got pumped all the way up on Thursday to 38,000 for your Ethereum. It went all the way up to 2,136. And now we're cooling off here. We just started to, to roll back over. And for XRP, it was back up to 73 cents. And that was on Monday. That was at the start of the week. So XRP running up before Brad took the stage on DC FinTech week and before Ripple Swell Conference occurred. And then ever since, it's kind of been cooling off. And like I said, in the last uh, couple hours here, we have started to roll over for the entire cryptocurrency market. So we'll be watching that one. Your DXY is sideways, just under 106. Continuing to watch the treasury markets as they climbed up here on Friday to finish off the week back above 5% for that two year and back to 4652. That's 4.652 for your 10 year. Now, the UK Brent oil did climb back up again here this week, back to $81 per barrel after getting cleaned out here, all the way down to basically $79 per barrel. Silver got hit this week and it's back down to 22.2. So a buying opportunity for the precious metals. It's linked up down below or at my website, zachrector.com. If you're looking to scoop the dip, 1938 for your gold. And then we did see that stocks continue to rally with Nvidia back up to 483 to finish off the week. S&P 500 continues the rally after we just had its best week of 2023. Uh, was not this last week that we just concluded, but the week before. And then this week, we kind of just continued that momentum all the way back up to 4,400 for the S&P 500. Dow Jones, same thing, 34,286. And we are watching this as we saw the pump that really, you know, took the space by surprise was when Gary Gensler came out here just yesterday and he announced that someone might be reviving FTX and the exchange could basically get fired back up. This subsequently pumped the FTT token, which is the FTX token, about 400%. If you go from where it was trading at, you know, right before, that's 405%. So and, and right before he made that announcement, it had already started to pump. So the insiders got in and then they took this thing all the way back up to basically five and a half bucks. It's cooling off right now. And as as we are recording here, the rest of the crypto space, along with this token, are all getting smacked. Same thing for your hex. And we've been tracking that with the total cryptocurrency market cap coming back down to one point three seven seven trillion. This thing was back up to about one point four trillion dang near. 1.395 trillion. So that's where we're at with the overall cryptocurrency market cap. Let's get right on into the update. Thank you for joining me. Now, apparently we got a lot of folks that are unveiling what they've been working on. And before we get to JP Morgan's holy grail, let's read this report here from Barron's coming out here just today, breaking out of DC. The House Republicans unveil government funding plan as shutdown looms. And this right here is giving them a week to pass legislation that would divert a shutdown that is expected to come in on November 17th, unless they can do their usual DC dance and come together, sing Kumbaya, and get another deal done. 
House Speaker Mike, Mike Johnson proposed a two-step continuing resolution, and a continuing resolution is a temporary measure used to fund government activities for a limited time while Congress irons out a final appropriations bill. So we will watch them doing their DC dance per usual, and we'll see if they're able to get something done here. It was also reported yesterday that Mike Johnson is not going to launch impeachment trial against Joe Biden. Apparently, they have found that there is not enough evidence. So not enough evidence for an impeachment. And we have a little deal here proposed, giving us a week to hash out the final agreement. Uh, at the end of the day, they just continue to kick the can down the road. And we continue to find ourselves up against a record deficit. The interest on our debt alone is unsustainable. And the entitlements and the liabilities the United States government has is on, you know, sending us down a path of destruction. And for many Americans, we watch and we listen for Jerome Powell to tell us whether or not he's going to continue the rug pull, continue raising interest rates at the fastest pace in history. Are we going to get higher for longer? And apparently that seems to be the deal. And this uncertainty is going to definitely bring volatility to the markets over the next week. So make sure that you are prepared for that. All right, now you thought that the XRP community hyped things up. The JP Morgan boys and girls are taking it to a whole new level with this article here today from thestreet.com. JP Morgan just added the holy grail to its 1 billion per day crypto network. The largest bank in the US is making major inroads with its permission blockchain settlement token, JPM Coin. Now, I know you're just dying to find out what is the holy grail for JPM Coin. Well, you don't have to wait any longer. JP Morgan has unveiled programmable payments through its native digital settlement token, JPM Coin, giving users more flexibility and customizability in their accounts using blockchain technology. So yes, the holy grail for JPM Coin is none other than programmable payments. <laughs> Something that the rest of the crypto space has already figured out, but I'm glad to see that the JPM boys and girls are finally catching up. Among the landmark new features, JPM, uh, JP Morgan offers customers the ability to move cash automatically on a blockchain performed using a range of customizable tools uh, that users can individually set. Transfers will bypass standing orders conditioned for a set time or quantity, making it easier for customers to shift money for overdue margin calls and payments. Now, that's probably a good thing because I think that they're going to have a lot of margin calls here uh, coming up here shortly as this system collapses. So that'll be good that they'll be able to shift money for overdue margin calls and payments. That's that's going to be a good tool to have. This means automatic treasury options in real time. The features will provide a pathway for better automa uh, automation, working capital utilization, and also allow customers to leverage programmability in blockchain-based bank accounts. Quote, programmability has been a key objective for digital currencies and tokenized money since the beginning, said Naveen Malela, head of coin systems at Onks by JP Morgan. This marks a significant milestone in the evolution of JPM coin, where pro programmability has always been the holy grail. So this feature has already been used by German conglomerate Siemens AG to transfer money to avoid a possible fund shortfall. Wow, so they're already putting it to work. Advantages and features from the crypto world are now available for fiat currencies by JP Morgan's provision of 24 hours by seven days blockchain-based bank accounts combined with programmability, Siemens Group treasurer Peter Rothko said. JPM coin handles 1 billion of assets every day, and this summer, JP Morgan Chase and company began offering euro-denominated payments using JPM coin to promote cross-border payments. So right now, from my understanding, what I can pick up is you have euro-denominated payments and you have US dollar-denominated payments, and so far, their network has already achieved 1 billion of assets per day on JPM coin. Now, we gotta give respect where, where it's due, and so JPM, they move a lot of money every single day, and they have a big, big control over the payments landscape. And so when they decide to flip a switch, they can flip a switch in a major way to the tune of $1 billion per day already moving on their JPM coin. So I'm kind of giving them a little bit of crap for showing up late to the cryptocurrency space, but there's two things that I, I, I take away from this article right here. One, uh, the big boys and girls are coming. This is confirmed by BlackRock filing for the Bitcoin ETF. Now we have the Ethereum spot ETF and all the other ETF filings for Bitcoin that are already underway. When are we going to get the XRP ETF, right? 
Uh, but in the meantime, we're seeing that the big boys and girls are showing their hand. They're unveiling what they've been working on behind the scenes. And now we're starting to see them flip the switch and move on over to DLT and cryptocurrency in a major way. The second takeaway for me is the fact that they're at $1 billion per day in settlement through JPM coin. That's equivalent to 365 billion per year. So three to 400 billion per year already trumps what XRP is doing with ODL by far. I'm just gonna be very clear, very straight up. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. This is, this is the thing with the incumbents. You're not talking about little corridors with little payments companies. You're talking about JP Morgan flipping a switch and now we're doing a billion per day. And they're just getting started by the way. So it re reiterates and confirms that we're in the right asset class. Digital assets is the future. Despite what Jamie Dimon wants to do while he talks his book on CNBC, they're going all in on this technology. And they just right unveiled their holy grail. These types of headlines with all the ETF filings just shows you that a flood of Wall Street liquidity and capital is going to come pouring into this space. And yes, they do have an advantage. And yes, this is significant. In another video, I'm going to do a direct comparison between JPM coin and XRP. XRP is still better. JPM coin is really just for their walled off garden, their siloed payments network within JP Morgan, right? That this isn't uh, cross-border payments from different banks or processors, right? There is no interoperability. This is a walled garden, right? This is a bridge that JP Morgan controls and nobody else is using it. But JP Morgan moves so much dang money that they've already flipped the switch and they're already moving a billion dollars per day. Now you compare that with XRP on-demand liquidity, only did about what, 10 or 11 billion of settlement last year in 2022. So we are just getting started. We're ramping up and we had a great year last year, right? Ripple was reporting 10 times, or was it nine or 10 times year over year growth for on-demand liquidity? Yay, that's great. But... We see that the JP Morgan boys right here, they flipped that switch. They're already moving a billion dollars per day. They're just getting started. But it reiterates the point that we are in the right asset class. And I believe at the end of the day, they're going to seek out that interoperability. They're going to seek out that bridge currency that an XRP will bring to the table because not everybody trusts JP Morgan. In fact, I'm someone who doesn't trust JPM. And I think that they're actually going to get exposed here. And I'm going to make a little point here about why they better hope that they're making some good money off of all those fees they're collecting on their JPM coin and, and, and the rest of their business model because I came across this article today, which is absolutely shocking. Now, you think that Ripple spent some money fighting their legal battle? Well, check this one out, folks. It was reported here by Wall Street on Parade, a citizen's guide to Wall Street. I like this little outfit, by the way. If you haven't already, you could check them out, wallstreetonparade.com. JP Morgan Chase paid $1.085 billion in legal expenses in the last six months. It's still battling hundreds of charges and legal proceedings on three continents. At some point, federal regulators, the Senate Banking Committee, and the Criminal Division of the U.S. Department of Justice are going to reach the same conclusion that Wall Street on Parade reached quite some time ago. JP Morgan Chase is a criminal enterprise in drag as a federally insured bank. <laughs> now, how about that? Um, and so this is the thing. Congratulations. You're moving a billion per day. You're making some progress with your JPM coin and you guys have unveiled your holy grail. That's fine. If you look at JPM, they literally just had to pay over $350 million in settlements to victims of an operation that I'm not going to dare mention here, but you know exactly what I'm talking about if you're tapped in and my audience is. So I know you guys already know what I'm talking about. They have paid out in settlements and fines over $350 million. And then they just spent over a billion dollars in legal fees in the last six months. So you bet you better come up with a solution, right? You, you better come up and, and adapt to this technology and start to implement this into your business before you go obsolete and you can't pay a billion dollars in legal fees just for the last six months, right? So it's not all sunshine and rainbows and unveiling the holy grail for JP Morgan. Let's be very clear about that. And are there any blemishes like that on, on Ripple, on XRP? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, and so for me, it once again just confirms that we're in the right asset class. JP Morgan getting started, flipping the switch, moving a billy. That's great. That's great. 
Eventually, you need interoperability outside of your walled garden, and every single bank will find this. Every every single government will find this, right? It's one thing to launch a, a, an issued asset. It's one thing to launch a token. It's one thing to launch a virtual currency. It's another thing to have interoperability with other banks, payment providers, and countries and systems around you, too. And so this is what's missing. And I wouldn't be surprised at all. I was talking about this with the Discord group this morning in our weekly call. I wouldn't be surprised to see JP Morgan issue the JPM coin on the XRP ledger. That's right. It would not surprise me at all to eventually see that so that you would have that interoperability where you could have JPM coin represented on the XRPL. Think of it like, uh, you, you know, we got the EVM side chain for the XRPL. Well, what about, you know, issuing JPM coin? And then if they want to tap into the AMM, they can tap into the AMM with JPM coin uh, versus XRP, right? And get tapped on in. And so nonetheless, congratulations to JPM, to, to Jamie Diamond and the gang. They live another day and they're starting to move some liquidity. That's good. Okay. But they do face significant legal troubles. And we're going to continue to watch this as the incumbents are scurrying and the rats are scurrying away the ceos are jumping off ship i covered how the ceo of blackrock dumped more shares this week so while he's hyping up cryptocurrency while they launch an application for a spot ethereum etf on the back end they ride that hype to dump their shares and this is how the game is played jamie diamond and gang has been doing the same thing and so we're watching their whole system collapse and come burning down and I feel like we've positioned ourselves in the right digital assets that are just about as squeaky clean as you can get and, you know, are just ledgers that work. And we laugh at the fact that JPM coin is touting their holy grail as programmable money. We've been doing that for a long time. That's no big issue. And the additional utilities that are coming to the XRP ledger too, I think will separate XRP from not just JPM coin, but from the rest of the space too. So I'm very excited about that. And I'll be sharing some more content here later today. So make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. More content coming today, Twitter space tomorrow. Andy Sheckman coming back for an interview later this week. And we have additional tactical wealth lessons and business development content dropping in the private group. Go to the website, zachrector.com. It's linked up down below too. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and God bless.